Hey y'all, hopefully you can hear me. I got my headphones in, but um, whew, about to be late to class. I don't know how because I left an hour early, but you know the college life. And I had to get my Starbucks because if not, I would have been asleep in class. So yeah. Whew. I'm going to my kin's class, which is like a movement class. So we spend like the first 30 minutes to an hour talking about movement in the gym and doing like little kid exercises that like children would do because I'm a child development major. Oh, I can't talk. <laughs> Hold up. But yeah, I'm walking to class right now, so. Yeah. Um. So now I'm really about to be. So now I'm really about to be late, cause our meeting's in the classroom today, and that's what's hard about this COVID half class, half in person mess. Is we don't know where the fuck we're supposed to be going. So, now I'm really about to be late. I thought I was gonna be about a minute or so late, but now we really about to be late. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pull up with my Starbucks, which isn't gonna help at all. It's gonna be like, oh, she went to Starbucks instead of going to class. No, I got this Starbucks earlier. Thank you. <sighs> Sac State live and direct with it so so my class is in here and they really think i'm about to walk up this cinderella staircase hell to the no so we're gonna walk over here to the elevator because i'm not doing all that walking and i even brought shoes for pe i came so prepared just to see that I was in the wrong class. Yay. Excuse me. Hey guys, Sick Princess is back. So I got a free book today. <laughs> I'm with my friend. What's your name again? Fernando. <laughs> Hi, Fernando. We're in class right now and we're going to Sunbridge to do some activities. So I thought I would record so you guys could watch me walk. So here's the campus. Here's me again. So yeah, we got a cool book. Only some people got a book. The people in the front of the line. Cause we're special like that. Luckily the weather's nice today. It's like 670, I think. So this is nice. It's a long walk. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna flip the camera and show you guys around again. There's the library. There's some, what is that restaurant called? It's like a faux restaurant. And there's the music building. And over here, they're selling like posters and what do you call it? Tapestries. So if you want a tapestry, you go over here and get one. Here's the stop. So because of COVID, campus is pretty empty right now. So yeah, also because it's early, there's not a lot of people here right now. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I'm tired. <laughs> there's a little bike rack. I feel sorry for her though too, you know, like she hasn't really just like Hey y'all, I'm back. So we're about to go to the Guy West Bridge and we have to walk another flight of Cinderella stairs just to get there. So here we go. Here's the Cinderella stairs. You see all this? Whew. I cannot be doing all this walking. I don't think I've ever been up here. There's the science building. That's the new one. Here's like a downwards view. Oh, here's the bridge right here. I don't know how I ended up at the end of the line, but. So on Sacramento State, they have this cool bridge. Here's like where cars can come. So we're going on the bridge, so I'm gonna show y'all. But first, here's a view of me again before I show y'all the bridge. Who am out of breath, y'all? Please excuse me. <laughs> ah! Ah. This is me, this is my class. It's nice because there's a bike trail or a walking trail. So here we go up the bridge. Whew. Got my little prison shoes on today. You know, I wasn't feeling it. But like I said earlier, I brought shoes for no reason because I thought we were in the gym. Because we usually do exercises first. So I came prepared just to not be in the gym. So here's the beautiful lake. What's this? You guys know what this lake is called? Do you know? No, oh. <laughs> he says it's his first time coming here, everyone. This is. I, yeah, this might be the American River. Don't swim in it, though. I heard there's poop in here. I heard there's a lot of feces in this river. But here's a view. Look how pretty it is, though. Like I said, this camera does not do justice. Not me falling behind. <laughs> and there's like another bridge over there. Here's the other side. Wow, I can see like straight through. It's pretty cool, man. Dang, how I fall so Shoot, gotta catch up. I should have been in the front in case he wants to give out some more free things. Ooh, not him fishing. Why are you fishing on this bridge? He got no business doing that. Dang, that must be a long fishing net though. So pretty. Ooh, let me catch up. <laughs> so yeah, my teacher got me walking a whole mile. So I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> I'm 
trying to keep up right now. The rest of the class is a mile in ahead of me. But yeah, they thought I was talking to them. I wasn't. But it's glowing hour though. So I think there was a fire over here. I don't know when, but we are, you know how when there's a fire, it turns like black on like the ground. Okay, he up there talking, hold up. of Sac State, and it is a, uh, was copied after, uh, after uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, we were out here during the wind one, one time, we did this, and the whole bridge was, was, was going up and down, and people were like, is that safe, Dr. Valdez? And I'm like, sure, it's safe, we got to get out of here. <laughs> So we're back on another little walking tour, guys. Nice to see uh, water in our uh, river. I know, it's so this pretty. Is the American River, by the way. Okay, I was the correct. The American River and the Sacramento River uh, merge uh, right before Old Sacramento. So if you get in Old Sacramento, you see. Oh, that's the Sacramento River and Old Sacramento? It is, uh, it is the combination of the American and the, oh. uh, and the second one. Uh, I didn't right know. Paradise, uh, uh, Paradise Beach? Beach. They, oh. Uh, they merge. I didn't know that. Well, now I know. That bridge is the J Street Bridge. When we were in flooding, I saw somebody hanging off that bridge, put it dipping their feet in to the water, it was that high. Really? And, and I'm thinking, you're an idiot, because there were logs and all sorts of things in there. Okay, and all you have to do is let go and you would be toast. Dang, the water was that high. Yeah, it was that high. When was this? This was uh, like 96, I see. Wow. Uh, and then they were again in like 2008. Wow. So, yeah. Didn't we have like flooding last year though, kind of? When it was raining? I remember like the water levels would rise when I would drive past, but it wasn't that high. No, it wasn't that high. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, amazing. I, caught, I was teaching uh, I was teaching high that time. And it was so uh, bizarre because we were, you know, we could have seen, you know, it's not like here where we could just go. And, so I do high kids and, and, and I think the roads are flooded. How are we going to get those kids home? Oh, yeah. Are you So we're on a little nature trail. So just letting you know, there are actually stamped things on the on the uh, parkway that say uh, pedestrians to the left, so you can see the the bike coming at you rather than have them come up behind you. As we're outside, you don't have to have your mask. You can keep them on, but you uh, don't have to. That's what the university says. Period. Y'all heard that. So y'all better not be in the comments talking about why I'm not wearing a face mask. Cause here you fucking go. We're outside, it's not required. But it is glowing hours, so y'all can look at the shit. The weather's actually really nice out. Really nice. Got my little Alcatraz cap on today. You know the moves. I'm supposed to be going to Alcatraz again to the night tour. So if I do go to that, I'll make sure to record so that you guys can like see the tour. So we're walking down some hill right now. Which is good because I live at the end of this hill. Ooh. So I could just eat my way back, to be honest. 
But yeah. I'm going to show y'all like the view. Look at this dead grass. We need some agua. Hey y'all, so just got out of class. Now I'm headed back to my dorm. Here's the view. So this is like a little store. You can get like shirts and stuff, snacks. They have a Bank of America Golden One and Chase right there. They have, this is the Union. So there's like Jamba Juice, some restaurants. People come in here and do homework. Down that way is towards the gym. And yeah, we're just gonna walk through here real quick. I don't even have my mask, so I'm gonna just use my hand. <laughs> so in here, there's the elevator. Bathrooms, if you need the police station. People go upstairs to do work. They have like pool tables and stuff here too, if you want to be like a, another place. A little sushi place. The ballroom for like events. Look, Panda Express. And some other restaurants in there. And there's like the upstairs. Here's another little area. There's um, microwaves. More studying over here. Here's the bookstore. <laughs> Hey, there's Fernando again. <laughs> so in the bookstore, you can go purchase your textbooks or they have laptops and stuff in there. I'll go in there one of these days so you guys can like see. Here's one of the parking structures. Here's like an around view. That's where I just was. So yeah, my class was actually really good today. The weather is nice with this breeze. We learned about, what did we learn about? Movement. <laughs> we did some like movement activities and we got to get out early. We went on a little walk, which is fine because the weather is nice, but I'm out of breath because I've been walking for so long. So excuse me for that. But yeah. Subway over there, parking garage, me. I'm gonna go through the parking garage. I'll show you all the parking garage. This is one of the parking garages. I believe there's three or four of them. Here's some cars exiting right now. That's the other side of the bookstore also if you have like an electric car there's spots for those too see electric vehicle charging stations and you can't just park in here for free you have to purchase a permit like a parking permit so i'm gonna go out over here through this little, these little bushes. Ooh, not the mud puddle. <laughs> Shit, oh, I almost fell. Uh-uh, I cannot wear these shoes again, they're too slippery. There's my dream car that 
that black one. Well, it's not my dream car, but it's a car I would love. Earlier, I was over there by that bridge, remember? And then the class, we all walked like to the other side. So I don't like that they don't have a walkway because this is the way I go back. See how it's just like the bike lane? Like these students do not know how to drive. So I do not feel safe walking right here. But there is other ways to go. Like you can cut through the other parking structures, like go back that way. But that wasn't where I was. So this is the way I gotta go. I love how the campus has all these trees and nature and grass. It's just very alive right now. So yeah, parking structure two is this one. I just now almost fell again. This shit's so slippery. <laughs> See, look, this tells you the Union Library Police Station. There's another police station down there. The Children's Center, which I'll show you guys. Cars waiting to cross because <laughs> I'm walking hella slow. So that that building, let me zoom in. That one is the children's center. So if you have like kids and you're a student, you could drop them at the children's center. I don't know how much it is, but I'm sure there's a discount. So continuing down the pathway. They're doing some construction over there. Here's some more cars over here. I feel like I'm breathing hella heavy. <laughs> so y'all please excuse me for that. This is another parking lot over here. This one, you could either have a permit to park here or let's say you're running late to class. You could just go up to one of those meters and just pay to park like for the day. I think it's like, I know it's cheap. That squirrel almost got ran over. <laughs> and this is like a power plant water source, I believe. All the way down there, that's where the football stadium is. This parking lot is where the tailgate usually is, like towards the end. I'm gonna flip the camera back around. So yeah, more about the Hornet Commons in case y'all wanna live here. I know they have different housing options. I literally applied like the week before school. So I didn't, I mean, I got a good room, but it was just so last minute. I was just hoping to get anything there because I wasn't gonna go back, you know, with COVID. I didn't really like online classes. I'm more of a visual learner, but I'm glad that everything turned out all right. I literally decided to come back to school the week before school. So had to move into the dorms, come back, sell my car, get a new car in like one week. I miss my old car though with the Dodge Charger, but I had to be, you know, I had to save money. So I decided to sell it, get a little Toyota Camry. And then I used the rest of that money to pay for rent because my financial aid didn't cover it, unfortunately. I feel like it's also because I waited so late and everything. But yeah, so right now, you know, I have a little part-time job to help with the rent and everything. I've been budgeting. I have like a whole little budgeting system I've been doing to also help me save money as a student. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's easy, it's not, you know. I like to go out. I don't know about you guys, but I like to go out. But this budgeting system helps me to know like what money I have to use, what I don't have, what I need to save, what bills I have coming up. So if y'all want me to make a video on my budgeting system as a student and what I do to save money, I will gladly make one. Just let me know in the comments. 
I'll probably still make one anyways, cause, <laughs> cause why not? You know, help you guys out a bit. But yeah, so this is my whole walk back. It's so like a 15, 20 minute walk. Over there, when you first come to Sac State, you go to that building down there. And that building is where you'll get like your keys if you're moving in. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see what the Hornet Commons look like. So that's the Hornet Commons buildings. They're lettered, so at the top of each building, see there's a letter right there? Hold up, right there. <laughs> so yeah, you can see your letter that way. So more about the Hornet Commons as we get closer. Um, I believe that each building has like four floors and there's a half court basketball court here. There's a pool, there's a gym, there's a like community center where they have computers for free use, printers, um, what else? They have bike racks, they have like trails. It's pretty nice actually. So I'm gonna just turn the camera from here so I can just show you guys. So you can like visually see everything. So yeah, I'm about to turn this camera. People are probably like, what is she recording? <laughs> so one thing that I don't like is that this street right here is like a straight strip all the way down. So at night, cars just be revving, zooming, and you know, these college students gotta show off their hot rods. So they be zooming down. And I live on the bottom floor, so it's like extremely loud. Especially at night, all you hear is you know. So I'm gonna show you guys the corny comments. And this guy. <laughs> these college students they be acting like there's no tomorrow zooming around like this so right here it shows the letters of the buildings which also match with like the letters up here like these ones this way is like a little trail look there's some nice seating areas right here like I said you guys want me to make a separate video showing like in detail like a walkthrough of the Hornet Commons I could do that as well just let me know so these are so at the end of each side they have like a common study area it's kind of hard to see but you can go in there and study do work they also have TVs in there here's the bike racks each bike rack goes with a building so this building would use that one that building uses that one. They have jump scooters. It's pretty empty right now. There's another view of the study room, the bike rack. Oh shoot, I hope he doesn't try to talk to me. Let me take this ear out just in case. He's like, oh, I'm from Kentucky and I lived there for seven years. I do not care. <sighs> so yeah. So that's the gym. My building is like literally right across from the gym, which is good. The common area, you can go in there and use the computers. Do you guys want to see the pool? Yeah, okay, I'll show you. <laughs> At the end, they have, what is that? Um, what do you call that? Hammocks. Here's the pool. It's nice and it has like floaties and stuff in it. There's also a dog park here. So yeah. So I'm probably going inside now, get my dog, bring him out, and then I'll give you guys like a walk through to see like the rest of the Hornet Commons. So I'm gonna go get him. I'm also do like an apartment tour, but right now since my apartment's kind of messy, apartment slash dorm with roommates type thing. I'm gonna do that another day, but I'm gonna go get my dog and I'll be back. So, Prince, wait, here's Prince. 
I'm training him to like be off the leash, so I'm about to take him off. Wait, wait, wait. Good boy. But I'm gonna see how well he does. Sit, wait. So I have his little treats for when we come back in. He'll get a little dog biscuit once we get inside. See, he waits here. I open it, he runs crazy. <laughs> His problem is if he sees somebody, he'll run after them. That's just what he does. So, go pee pee. But he generally listens to me for the most part. Go pee pee. He just loves being outside. There's the pool. Some people at the pool. Here's Prince. You know, he, you know, since he's inside, not a lot. I mean, he gets out more here than he did at my last place. Since he's inside a lot, that's why I want him to, you know, be able to run freely off the leash. See, he knows the path. <laughs> Here's like a sand court. Little hammocks. See, when he sees people like them in the yellow, he'll try to chase them. The dog park's right there in, the, in those gates, but it's too small for him at least. I mean, he goes in there sometimes. He might try to go in there right now. Here's another angle of the pool. Here's some barbecues and tables. Here's Prince. Come on, let's go in the dog park. Let's see if he goes in there. <laughs> Here's some waste bins. Here's another way to get in there. So if you have questions about your rent or anything, you can go in there. Come on. But just, you know, watch out for the grass and everything. Also, <laughs> print, you know, clean up after your pets because we wouldn't want that to be taken away to where we can't even bring dogs anymore. So, And they provide um, bags and stuff. Here he is. He likes to go in here sometimes. This is the dog park. Here's the little bags they provide. See, everything's still new. Like these trees are still growing and so it came at the best time. Well, I feel like there's pros and cons with it being new. With the newness, we're kind of like the test dummies in a way. They see what could be improved, you know. I think they're gonna build some coffee shop or something over there, not too sure though. Back to me. So yeah, weather's nice today. So, you know, we're getting this video going. Prince is running around in the dog park, sniffing around, digging around. These are the snacks that I got him. So we're gonna see if he gets inside. Like I said, his main problem is just getting inside that door because he knows it's time to go inside. So I brought these. It says oven baked dog biscuits, peanut butter and berry flavor latte biscuits, no corn, no wheat, no soy, no artificial colors and flavors and no artificial preservatives. This is the back if you guys wanna read it. Yeah. Let me show y'all what they look like. Hold up. They look like this. So I'm gonna have to rip it in half for him because he's picky and his mouth's not that big. So I'll show you guys him again. There he is running around being a dog. <laughs> right now it is so right now it's 12, 17. I have to be at work at three. I don't know what he's doing over there. <laughs> so right now it's 12, 17. I have to be at work at three. So once I get done with this, I'll probably go inside, take my vitamins, drink some water, refresh myself, um, do a little bit of schoolwork, and then head to work. 
don't know what he's doing. Prince, come here. Prince. Prince. He was like rolling his ears in there. But here he comes. He has a mind of his own. He listens when he wants to. <laughs> but otherwise that like if he doesn't want to, he does not listen. Looking at this tunnel. Prince, leave it alone. He's trying to bite this little plant. It's like a little branch. So I'm at work right now. What time is it? I don't know what time it is, but I think I have three more hours. This Walmart is so ghetto. There's literally a guy wearing all red running around like a gorilla. Oh my gosh. Like literally he was running around like a gorilla. So here's the fit, you know. You know. Oop, not the hole. But yeah, I'll come back when I'm off. Hey, you all. So I'm back. Um, I'm on my lunch right now. This Walmart is not in the mood. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've seen more between my two days working here. Like more crazy shit than I have in like a whole year. People be lurking. People be staring. People be look. People looking right now. I went to the gas station. Like while I'm headed over there. This guy like pulls up next to me at the light. And he. It paused. He rolls his window down. He's like. Urgh! I'm trying so hard not to laugh so I go like this and I start and then luckily the light turn but like that is rude you don't just cat call to me when you're in your car ugh men nowadays but yeah that was cringe also as I said earlier there was a guy wearing all red running around like a gorilla literally in the store like this I have people yelling, people arguing. Yesterday, there was someone arguing over rotisserie chicken. Uh, old lady fell, so the ambulance had to come. Man, I'm gonna just be telling y'all my stories at work because this Walmart always got something going on, literally. I had a lady today, uh, she didn't have the money for her stuff. She's like, I know I got this money on my car. And so then she looked on her account and she didn't even have enough. So she takes off the cheapest little Halloween ornaments. And she's like, I'm gonna come back tomorrow for you. Write my name, Letitia on there. And I said, okay, I don't give a pen. You know, I didn't know that we can't, they're gonna take it back anyways. Like we can't leave, pick stuff up in the next day. But she was so concerned about a pen so I could write her name on it. And she's like, did you spell that Letitia with an S or did you spell with a C? I said with a C and then she looked at it and it was like, oh my goodness. She was holding up the line, but luckily I got to go on my break after that. But whew, this is the definition of me being drained. I have to get my schedule changed. And luckily tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Friday, do I work tomorrow? I better not work tomorrow. Let me go check. So I think they mixed up my schedule a bit. So I'm going to have to go in there and have them fix it. I'm actually really tired. I'm tired. I'm a little dizzy. What did I eat today? What did I eat today? I had... A large iced caramel coffee this morning. Remember when I went to Starbucks? And then I had like um, the sausage, egg, and cheese uh, McMuffin. Then what else? And I think a soda. I didn't really get to eat much. Been running around all day. Did I get to eat? Oh, I had some candy corn. So I think I'm just hungry and tired but I better not be working Friday and Saturday cause mm -mm. cause I had them change my schedule and I think they changed it like this upcoming week and I work like 5 days already 
well not five days but it will be five days so i better get saturday and sunday well friday and saturday off Whew, i'm tired you guys i think uh, after my break it'll be what time will it be i think 8 12 and i'm here till 10 so i have like hey you guys so i'm just now making it home from walmart I want to thank you guys for watching part one of a day in the life of a college student. It's like 10.30 now. I've been up since 8 a.m. I think. With a busy and adventurous day. I'm probably going to go inside, make some dinner, take my dog on a walk, um, take a shower. Like I said, I'm not doing my homework today. I'm too tired. <laughs> Y'all do it tomorrow. It's not due till Sunday, so I could do it Friday and if I need to, going into Saturday since I don't have class. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn post notifications on. And um, yeah, uh, I don't know what the next video is going to be yet, but stay tuned for it, okay? Thank you. I know I have like no energy right now. I'm just compared to this morning when I was walking to class. But yeah, I'm just tired. Long day. Crazy customers. At least I can listen to my music. Well, I don't know if I can or not, but I have it like hidden behind my hair. So I've been listening to my musica. I was doing very good. You know, one year with my music just so I could tune all that mess out and just listen to my music swipe mm, mm, mm. and then boom but yeah thanks guys for tuning in yes my real name is violet but people call me princess